Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of The Davy Train. Today I'm going to show you how I fixed the red flashing light of death that happened recently on my hoverboard. So let's go back. It was like three weeks ago I went to get on my hoverboard and this random red light started flashing and it wouldn't balance, it wouldn't do anything. And I was like, no! I was freaking out. I bought it on Amazon, but it was like a different seller on Amazon. So I started the claim process. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. It just nothing I could do would fix it. And there, these are kind of uncharted territory. So there's not a whole lot you can find on fixing them and repairs online. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, I started emailing the seller and then making a claim with Amazon because I wasn't hearing back from him. This long drawn out process, finally emails back and forth. Finally, I found out that all I needed to do was calibrate the hoverboard. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. All right, so to calibrate the hoverboard, the only button you need is the on off switch, which you know where that is if you own one. What we need to do, you're gonna have it off. You're gonna make sure it's completely level. You're gonna make it level this way and you're gonna make sure these are evenly rotated so they're exactly even with each other. You're gonna hold it level. You're gonna press the on off button and hold it gonna take about five seconds. You're gonna start seeing some flashing lights. You're gonna see the red light start to flash here. And once the light pattern changes, it's done calibrating. So it's flashing evenly now. So you're gonna let go. You're gonna turn it off again. And that's it, you're done. You're gonna turn it on. It's calibrated, you can step on it and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you fix the red flashing light of death, as I call it. Uh, there's not a lot of information on these hoverboards because they come from China. The instruction manual is pretty simple. There was nothing about calibration in the instruction manual. So I'm sure as things go on, there, people are gonna find out more ways to fix these things, but that's what fixed it for me. Let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you guys wanna see on this channel. I've got lots of fun things planned, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.